A couple of years ago, Laura and I decided to tackle New Zealand's biggest gap year in which we challenged ourselves to tackle 365 activities in New Zealand in 365 days. This is one of those days. This is day 12. We are in Fangamata and we just been told to meet a lady called Naomi that runs a surf or sub shop, which is standard paddle boarding and sub. And that's what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a big surprise and we're, we are going to discover one of the most hidden gems in the country. Check it out. And Join us at the end of the video when we're going to be answering all the questions that we received the first time we published the video. We decided to take a long stroll on the Fanga Mata beach, which is the longest beach I think I've ever been to. There's like 14 access points and they're all super far away from each other. And you know, when you're at the beach and it's sunny, you, the thing you have to do is get ice cream. So we go get ice cream. So Robin's calls a double ice cream, raspberry drizzle and chocolate, plus an ice cream, passion fruit and whatever chocolate and some fancy drink, pea and passion fruit and pea and pajamas. And all of that for about six bucks. So the time has come. We are going to go paddle boarding. Naomi gives us a really quick run through of what to do on a paddle board. Seems pretty simple. I mean, once you've watched people do it, you kind of think, just, just stand up and paddle, okay? Here's what you do. You hold the paddle and then you paddle on both sides. If you fall in the water, just get back on the board. I am having a hard time balancing, but I'm still dry right now, so I'm congratulating myself. <laughs> Here comes Robin. I'm just sort of cruising. It's, yeah, going pretty well. I, I mean, to start with, I maybe was a little shaky, but you sort of find your right stance and way to, to stand, and it's pretty easy going from there. I don't feel like I'm going too fast at this point, but my speed is nothing compared to when I turn around two seconds later, me and Naomi are way like across the ocean and Robin is a dot back at shore because he is super slow and it's kind of hilarious because everything he does compared to what I do, he usually masters everything super quickly and it's really annoying. But this time, this time, I am the one who has mastered paddleboarding and he is, in a word, shit. He's shit at paddleboarding and that is fantastic. Here comes the French snail. Also what I like about it is that you can just have a conversation, like I was having a conversation with Naomi for like the whole stretch across to Donut Island from the beach and every two seconds we would be waiting for Robin because he's being so slow and then I'd turn around and be like, come on! You know, it's quite funny, it's quite funny to do that. So, eventually we get to Donut Island. But why is this place called Donut Island, we wonder? Well, it is because there is a hole in the middle of this island making it like a donut. Oh my God, who would have seen this coming? I was half expecting a donut stand to be waiting for me in the island, but I guess, I guess there was no donuts. And we arrive inside and man, this was the most gorgeous waterhole I ever saw in my life. It's totally like Jurassic Park. It's really awesome. Like I can't even put into words how beautiful this place was. 
we landed on one of those beaches and they were covered in little white shells everywhere, which is a bit hard on the feet, but it looked nice. Apparently, years, well, obviously years and centuries ago, there, there was two Maori, Maori um, tribes at war. And um, the reason this is such a sacred island is uh, they were, the one, one tribe got trapped here in a storm and the other one kind of basically um, like guarded the entrance and it was, uh, they couldn't get out and apparently they all, they all just jumped off the side and, like a lot, of, uh, the whole of the tribe died basically and apparently it's very sacred because of that, like losing a whole tribe. Um, they were all trapped inside here and they couldn't get out because the entrance was blocked so they all just jumped off. Uh, they, it's, it's just what I've been told, who knows if it's 100% yeah. true. And the water in there also was like a really light turquoise colour and it just looked like something of like a tropical paradise brochure or something. It was really amazing and both me and Robin had have no idea this even existed until now. Sun is setting, we're paddling toward the sun. You know, the little town, like the very flat town of Fangamata is just overlooking at us. The water is still perfectly flat. You can see through the water, literally even at the deepest, deepest parts of, of the ocean, you could see right through it and you could see the sand at the bottom. It was just mind blowing. You see a few fish passing down there, just amazing. We go back to the Surf's Up shop with Naomi and Cass. It's a really cool shop. Like they do like a workshop there for surfboards and do all the waxing for people. They also, you know, sell a few like merchandise and things. It's like a really cool like little business they have there. And we head out for a beer. I think that uh, next time I'm going to get that ball, so I'm maybe a bit more stable, <laughs> right? Just, just saying. <laughs> Alright, so in the comments of the videos, we have uh, comments from Randy that say that it's such an amazing place and he didn't expect to see that. Randy, so did we. There is so many hidden gems in New Zealand that despite the fact that we are the expert of New Zealand travel, since we are the team behind nzpocketguide.com, we're still surprised sometimes finding places and be like, oh my gosh, it just looks so much better than I ever expected. And that happens over and over and over and over again in New Zealand. It's such a surprising country and such an amazing place to visit. So this is why we decided to actually start New Zealand's uh, NZ Pocket guide.com sorry um, um, we decided to start the website www.nzpocketguide.com because we figured out that there was so many hidden gems and there was no travel guide that was kind of giving you enough and and so many amazing things to visit in New Zealand. So we are covering not everything by any stretch of the mean, right? But we cover way more than anything we've ever found ourselves at least. And um, feel free to check it out. It's 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 completely free to check out. It's www.nzpocketguide.com. And uh, yeah, there is literally uh, no paywall or anything. So you can read out all the articles you want. And um, yeah, that should help you plan your trip to New Zealand. Now, if you are in the planning stage of your trip in New Zealand, we've got a good news for you. We're here to help. Now, you can join us out every single week on, uh, on YouTube right here. We do a live session. We spend about one hour sitting on the couch, kind of relaxing together and answering the questions of so many travelers um, when planning your trip to New Zealand. So it's at 8 a.m. New Zealand time every single Sunday. It's probably around Saturday on your time in the world, but it's definitely a great place to start for trip planning in New Zealand. 
Now, if uh, you can't make it because the time is not convenient or because you can't be first coming to a live session on YouTube, it seems nonsense to you, it's absolutely fine. You can find your answer on nzpocketguide.com or you can put your question in the comments of any other videos on YouTube and then we print them and when we have a bit of a quiet down on the on the couch uh, when people are asking questions or are just kind of like waking up in the morning and everything, we usually answer questions that we receive throughout the week. So then you can pop in on YouTube again and kind of watch a replay of that video and that should be quite handy. So yeah, that's basically how we can interact with you and how you can get us to help you plan your trip, which is quite cool. Now, if you find all our video useful, if you find all our information useful and all that, feel free to share it with your friend or with people that are traveling to New Zealand. Or you can also click like on the video. You can also click subscribe. It's so many free ways for you to say thank you for all our hard work. In the meantime, we'll see you tomorrow when we keep on exploring New Zealand and rewatch New Zealand's biggest gap year all together. Bye-bye.